I'm James Strapp, and I'm an associate partner with IBM Global Business Services in the energy and utilities practice. So my focus is on smart metering, and I spend most of my time working with utilities across the country to help plan, implement uh, smart meters. A smart meter is a, a digital device goes on the side of your house and replaces the old mechanical meter that sits there now. The old mechanical meter, it goes round and round, collects data uh, on your electricity use. Every few months, the, the meter reader will come around and, and collect one piece of data about your electricity use. A smart meter, it's a new device you, you replace that meter with, it collects a lot more information. It collects information about when you use electricity, down to the hour or even more frequently than that. It collects information about when your power goes out, and it tells you how the quality of the, the, the power that you're getting, because you get voltage fluctuations when the lights flicker and those types of things. The other thing about a smart meter is that it collects all this data. It also has a remote connection. So the utility can then uh, remotely collect that information every day or more frequently if they need to, rather than waiting months after that particular use or event has happened. important for a number of reasons. For, for a consumer, it helps them manage their energy costs, get much more information about, about their, how they use electricity. For the utility, it opens up new kind of opportunities around more reliable service, better service to customers, and new types of offerings, new types of pricings, prices that can be offered to customers, and new types of services. Well, there's a couple different ways. Uh, one is the meter itself. Just the fact that you get information about your electricity use by their much more frequently. Um, but the more important for, for consumers is probably the pricing arrangements they enable. So right now, you pay one number for, for electricity cost across the month. Or maybe it varies, but if you start to use more for a particular month. But we can't um, adjust that for different times of the day. Like your long distance telephone bill, you, pay, you can pay more during different times of day, and they can different plans for how you use that, electri that, that telephone. Electricity, with the smart meter, we can now offer the similar type of rates for, for, um, for electricity. There's three ways that homeowners can, can monitor their energy use, typically, with a smart meter. One is the meter itself has a display on it, and if you go outside and take a look at it, that's not typically the, the biggest area. More, more typical is a website. That this is collected every day, so the utility takes that, they process that data, give it back to you on a website, you can look through it and see that information. Also, you get a much better bill, much more informative bill from the utility. That, ut that, that bill can tell you when you use electricity, how much different prices were for electricity at different times, and those types of things. How, com how you compare against other people and how they use electricity. The third area that's kind of the, the, the leading edge of the technology is combining that smart meter with an in-home display or a smart thermostat that has something inside your house telling you at that in the real time how much electricity you're using, how much electricity you've used over the last, last hours, the last few days. We've done a number of research uh, projects that have resulted, combined with uh, smarter prices, with some real energy savings and real, real change in behavior from customers. The one that I'm most familiar with is the one we did in Ontario with the Ontario Energy Board. Uh, we took about 375 customers in the Ottawa area and put them on different pricing structures. One was a straight uh, time of use where you paid different prices for different times of the day. Uh, another was where we said, for certain days, for a few hours in the summertime and a few hours in the wintertime, we're going to increase that price quite a bit. We're going to put it about five times what it normally is because that's when the electricity system is most stressed, when we really need people to reduce power. So that was one. Then there was the opposite. We said, well, during those same times, we're going we're to actually give you a rebate for, for using less electricity than you typically use on those kind of hours. So we had these people on these rates for um, about eight months. And we measured the results, and we got significant change in behavior. For, for the summertime use, we got people changing, they're reducing their power on these critical peak pricings, these prices where they pay so much for it, by 25%. Generally, across all the participants, we got people using about 6% less power than they do normally. 
So, so people shifting power from peak times, people using less power. We're seeing smart meter rolled out across North America on different schedules, but uh, a number of programs are well underway. Ontario is committed to putting in ever, to have the smart meters in across the, across the province by 2010. British Columbia has just announced that they're going to have them in place by 2012. We're seeing a number of other utilities follow along with that. So, so customers, it takes about three, four years for once a ut large utility starts a smart meter deployment to actually complete it. So customers will start to see these being installed over the next few years. If you think about a, a smart meter as a digital device on the side of a house with a connectivity to back to the office, you start to see why a company like IBM gets involved. There's been a number of companies, metering companies, been involved in this for quite a few years. It's IBM's um, been very active in the last few years, bringing the kind of skills we have in technology and telecommunications and project management systems integration to utilities challenged with how do you plan and roll out something as significant as replacing a million or more me smart meter meters out there. We now have lead roles in three of the largest deployments going on in North America and we work with utilities around the world helping them uh, figure out how do, you, how do you plan for the technology change, how do you plan around the communications, how do you bring the whole organization together to drive towards the kind of benefits you're looking, looking for from smart meters. There are a number of emerging opportunities beyond the utility using this technology. One of the more interesting ones is using that meter as a, as a gateway into the house so that you're able to have a smart thermostat, have devices on your appliances that control the electricity use and adjust, adjust them for different times of the day and different peak times. So using, working towards a smarter home or a smarter energy home at least using the this, this smart meter as the base. Well, smart metering produces an enormous amount more data than, than the traditional meters we have in place. The real challenges are around how you use it and how, how it's transmitted around the company. You're changing a process that had one piece of data coming in every month to something that's coming in now that the needs are down to the second or in the minutes type of thing, kind of processing. So these challenges about how you use this data and how you have the connect connectivity within the enterprise that you need, that's where IBM is really focusing on our efforts, both in the architectures about how systems are connected to get the right kind of data to the right kind of systems in the right kind of time frame, and also the analytical software to be able to analyze this types of data that comes not just from smart meters but other types of devices in the, in the network to be able to identify these problems in the time frame that you need to actually improve reliability. We see smart meters as one entry point into a much more intelligent utility network, the digitization of the grid. In a lot of ways, the electricity industry is the last industry to digitize. We saw that through telecoms and other industries that went, went digital. We're, we're now seeing a parallel path along the, along the electricity grid that is digital. So they're able to, utilities are able to have sensors and different types of devices along that network with a smart meter at the end of the network being just one of those, those, collect, those, those uh, kind of devices. So with an intelligent utility network, utilities are able to actually control that network from the high voltages down to, to the lower voltages inside the, to, the, to the house. Also, some automation in those devices so they can react to an outage. So if there's a particular outage in the area, they can automatically adjust uh, the flow of power uh, to, to keep power on in certain instances and reduce power outages in others. There's a number of different opportunities that putting in the smart grid or the smart meters uh, result in. One is services to the customer. The ability to use this type of connectivity, this type of information to offer new services to a customer, around their particularly around their energy use, but also other types of things there.